Hello and welcome. I thought I'd share another quote with you to hopefully inspire you and get you thinking about the importance of life and how we interact with each other, especially how we interact with uh, future patients uh, and other members of society. So uh, this quote comes from Reinhold Niebuhr, and I'll go ahead and read it from the screen for you. Nothing which is worth doing can be achieved in our lifetime. Therefore, we must be saved by hope. Nothing which is true or beautiful or good makes complete sense in any immediate context of history. Therefore, we must be saved by faith. Nothing we do, however virtuous, can be accomplished alone. Therefore, we are saved by love. No virtuous act is quite as virtuous from the standpoint of our friend or foe as it is from our standpoint. Therefore, we must be saved by the final form of love, which is forgiveness. So I think to understand this quote, it's important to contextualize these key words that Reinhold Niebuhr is using in this quote. Forgiveness in particular. Forgiveness is being able to say that somebody is worth it, that another person is worth the trouble that we go to to help them. Forgiveness is saying that whatever they've done in their past doesn't matter. What matters is what they're going to do in the future and how we can help them accomplish that. Love is the concept that we uh, can buy into this vision of the future, that we can be a part of that concept and that it's uh, an important concept that we should all buy into. Uh, faith is putting hope into action. So hope is the belief that a better future is possible, and faith is acting on that future, acting in ways to bring about that better future. So it was a couple years ago now, uh, some of my students came to me after a clinical rotation and told me about a patient that they had encountered. And I forget the details, I believe the patient uh, had some sort of spinal cord injury, and the doctors told the patient that uh, this individual would never be able to walk again. Uh, but the, the, the students uh, saw this patient and worked with this patient on a daily basis, and they were inspired by this patient. They, uh, they, uh, at the end of the rotation, they uh, saw the patient taking, uh, taking first steps uh, after the rehabilitation, first unassisted steps, uh, and it was quite a powerful experience for the students. So that patient, despite what uh, the individual was told, had hope that their situation could improve. Not only did that person have hope, but that person put the effort in, acted on that belief, and had faith that a better future was possible with the rehabilitation uh, that the patient had to undergo. Not only uh, did that patient have faith, but through those actions, through their dedication to the rehabilitation regimen, that person inspired the clinicians around them, the staff, the physical therapists, and the doctors, and those individuals bought into that faith, bought into that belief, and ended up helping that individual achieve success through that rehabilitation. Without those steps, none of that would have been possible. But that patient, that individual's faith uh, in action allowed other people to buy into their belief and bring about this remarkable outcome. So forgiveness was fundamental to all of this. It didn't matter what the patient's history or past were, uh, it mattered that the patient was on their way to a better future. So if you ever find yourself in a situation where you cannot, you're unable uh, to say that another person is worth the effort, then consider that the problem is that you haven't bought into the vision that you don't have the love required to help that person on their journey. And maybe you don't have that love because you don't have that faith that you are not willing to put into action 
what's necessary to bring about that vision. And maybe you're not willing to put that effort in because you don't have hope that a better future is possible. So in order to bring about this better future, we all need to hope, we all need to believe that a better future is out there. But that belief isn't enough. We also have to act on that belief to bring it about. Once we act on that belief, then we recruit other people to the cause. We inspire love and we inspire that confidence in other people that they too can act to bring about a better future. <clears throat> and through this process, that's how we can impact other people's lives for the better. So I hope with that little bit of explanation and that uh, expanding upon this quote can help you realize that the future, the progress we make and how we impact other people's lives is entirely in your hands and you have the capability to bring about that future. Thanks for listening.